Hello friends, I am Stramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So today we will see the other uh, available functions in Scala. Anonymous function in Scala. That means that an expression executed directly without any proper function name is called as anonymous function. We have done it actually in the previous videos. So let's do it again. Let's say we have a val a equal to and inside this, uh, uh, this is a variable declaration, right? During this time itself, we will give the declaration, uh, I mean function itself. Instead of defining a as a function, uh, taking input as a integer, and then writing a function body we will do like this okay because this is a expression expression is getting executed here inside the variable called a so now how to execute this is let's say there is a variable called b let's create and here we will pass it as a often because here we have to pass the integer as the value to this a and we'll say plus two okay simply some, some calculation and then do print ln of b and if you save it first it goes to b a of 10 which is 102 yeah if you see the answer it is 102 10 into 10 plus 2 so here actually if you see some function is how usually how we do in a function the same thing happened in a that expression is executed in a in a variable itself we, we have not defined any name without any name we have executed this function so this is called as anonymous function usually when uh, you have to execute some expression and uh, it is not reusable or you don't have to create a separate function uh, unnecessary lines of code and you wanted that for a part only for once or any for some simple calculation you can use anonymous functions means without any name okay and then uh, we'll see uh, yeah let's uh, send variable parameters uh, to the function let's say we have a function and you don't know uh, how many parameters you will be sending for that particular function there there will be many array of uh, strings uh, and you don't know how many uh, parameters are needed inside the calculation so for that purpose what you can do is uh, let's say multi param some function name and in the arguments we will say int star ok so this is how we declare the variable length parameters that means if we don't we are not uh, confirmed about the number of parameters to be sent for a for any particular function then we can do like this as well so variable result equal to let uh, something like okay, one I'll put because I wanted to do some multiplication of op operation so that's why instead of zero I've given it as one and for now we have to um, uh, loop through I mean iterate through each and every uh, parameter right so how many parameters are there because it's not a direct so here if you see here a we have b we have so we are saying a plus b and we are not definite about how many parameters are incoming then we have to uh, first see how many parameters are exactly there right so for each parameter we have to do so that is the meaning of this for each parameter inside this argument so let let, let it be 2 or 10 or 100 so for each and everything we are saying that assign res equal to res into a so that one we will write it in a short form okay result equal to result into a and then return the result okay what is the error
will call this multiparams of let's say 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 <laughs> print l and res so so now let me run this code and if you see 1 2 3 4 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so here we are calling to, uh, to the result we are calling this uh, multiparams with the uh, four parameters so for each parameter it will uh, multiply and finally it will return the result and finally we are printing the result okay clear okay so this is how we can pass the variable length of arguments next we will see what is the higher order function so higher order functions means anyways Kala is a highly functional language right so it it uh, treats uh, hi, its uh, variables as um, first class citizens which means that it can uh, pass the functions it can uh, as a variable it can pass the functions as variables it can return the functions so anything in Scala also can be treated as a function for example here we have seen right so uh, usually in any other languages this is how we declare a variable but here to the variable uh, we have uh, created an input variable and also we are able to uh, assign some expression to it so in a single line we have done the function uh, I mean uh, execution so this is how uh, we can work with functions always so uh, passing uh, these kind of functions as input to another function or returning anything so such functions are called as higher order functions so we will see a small example so let's get the square of a, a variable that we are going to give so I'll just give squared and we have to pass integer and let's say we have another function called function and it takes one parameter like normal integer parameter and second one is a function so this is how we can uh, pass the function as a input variable okay so uh, if you in C function has two parameters one is a variable and the second one is the function and again it returns the integer so here we will say f of a means x so for this function we are sending this as an input parameter so this is called as higher, higher order function so for any function uh, if we are sending input variable as a the input variable is a function then this is called as higher order function so now how to call this is here I have given res right so that's why I am giving res1 and let's call this function it takes two parameters right so I'll say um, we'll say 10 okay 10 and and when I save it it is returning 100 which means 10 into 10 so for this function we are passing one variable and function name we have passed so even though it has the input parameter here we have not passed any of the function I mean any of the variables and we are just giving the function name so when you call this function it accepts one variable and one function so inside this it is uh, composing the function and it is uh, like uh, performing the squared and returning to this here we can actually print this because this is a Scala worksheet it is giving the uh, result here it's uh, it's something like a Scala shell okay so that's why otherwise you have to print the res1 then only will be able to see the result so this is called as higher order function so we will see another example for composing the parameters so here also if you see for any uh, for, for a squared uh, uh, function even though it has uh, multiple parameters without even passing uh, it is able to take right so we are composing a function so similarly we will do another example 
for composition so uh, it is like let's say we have a function called add it okay and it takes one parameter and returns int and say a plus a and another one you have multiply it and that is also takes one parameter and returns int and it multiplies to itself let's say there are two functions so now let's create a another variable and we will call this function and to this ideally we should be passing one integer right so instead of that you pass this function and here to this function we'll say we'll pass 10 so if you see here the return type of this is int so because of that it will accept so passing like this you you, you understood right so for this outer function instead of passing a variable we are passing a function here and to this function we are passing the value as 10 so and we will uh, print this as I said no need to print explicitly but still I'm printing so now what will happen is first it will do 10 10 plus 10 equal to 20 and then that 20 will be passed as input to this uh, function then it will return 400 so now let's save this and see the output see 400 we have got so like this so here if you see we are not passing a direct variable and we are composing the input to this one it's not a direct input it the input will be composed in this another function and that function value will be passed as a input to this function so this is called as functional com fun uh, com function compositioning in Scala and next we have closure closure is also another uh, function type in Scala whose return value depends on the value of one or more variables declared outside the function this is actually by default we do the same but uh, th these kind of functions are called as closures in Scala and let's say we have a function called as add one okay we have add it here another one anyway okay. then we will take add only and to this uh, value add we will uh, create a one anonymous function here I will say just add two, 2 to it okay so now what will happen when you do this when you just uh, do this is when you save it uh, but if you pass add of 10 to it and save it it will do 12 because we are here we are uh, summing up with 2 so the result will be 10 and now instead of hard coding this variable let's say you have another you create another uh, variable uh, f okay uh, it will be like 3 as of now but if you see here the declaration of this is a variable not val so it can be changeable it's mutable okay so now if you pass f here the value will be changed so if the value of f is 3 it will take it as 13 because it uh, we are passing 10 here 10 plus f is 3 so 10 plus 3 equal to 13 it will do and during the function execution if some other value comes here then the value inside this function so inside this function will be changed so this is anonymous function you might get confused but we can take any other function inside any like you define a function and you modify anything uh, outside outside of the function then the value inside this function will be changed so these kind of dependency of any variable value like what is the total of let's say if you say result uh, val res equal res 3 equal to add let's say you have something like that this result is depend upon this variable which is declared outside the function right this is the f is not declared inside only i is declared inside this function and the value of this result 3 will be based on the, the value of f and which is declared outside the function so these kind of functions are called as closure functions in Scala okay thank you for watching the video friends I hope you understood the concept of Scala functions 
please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you